Hi, I'm Craig from the Four King Diggers. That's Mark. Uh, if you get time, take a look at our videos. Cheers. This is in all likelihood going to be a quick hunt because it's raining now and I think there's heavier rain coming in. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, put it in this nice waterproof pocket, go out with the Deus and the 11 inch coil and try and find some relics today. I'm going to be working in an area where I don't think I've found any coins at all. I found a few nice relics like furniture fittings and so on. So I'm going to go out see what I can find and hopefully the footage won't be too shaky. Been out the van about 10 seconds and I've got a signal that was reading between 75 and 80. It looks like a coin ball. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> what a start. The pre-decimal halfpenny. Very worn. Extremely worn. Pretty much flat. Can I see anything at all on it? This is reading the late 80s to early 90s. I was kind of hoping it was a coin ball, but it's just, it is a coin ball, but it's a modern two pence. Yet yeah, another coin ball reading early 90s. I seem to be banging the coins already, I've only been here five minutes. It's been nothing spectacular thus far, but you never know, something decent may crop up. Perhaps after this one, after this modern penny. What the hell's that? Oh, that's what I call a doorknob. It's like a football. The size of that fella. It's absolutely massive. Something in here reading mid 70s. Might be a half pence, judging by the size of it. Ah, it is. Well, I don't need the probe for this one. I can spot that a mile off. Slightly different coloured soil, looks a little bit denser. I'd say that was a coin ball. I think it's a modern penny. Yes, it is. But you can spot coin balls a mile off. This was reading early 90s and looking at it, I think it's a key ring of some sort. Feels very light. It's not a key ring. Not entirely sure what it is. Not gold. It's not a ring of any sort because it's flattened, it's the wrong shape. Uh, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Feels like it's aluminium or something. I've just lifted this up and there's a mark that looks like a pre-decimal penny. It is indeed. Oh no, it's not. What the hell is that? 1D. What the heck's that? It's a foreign coin by the looks of it. Oh, it's an Irish penny. Looks like it's got a grouse, hen or capercaillie or something on it. It's a nice find because I don't think I found one of those before. It's quite old as well, 1928. Very good. Well, after a nation of modern pennies, which I'm probably going to edit out because nobody wants to see you digging up that muck, I uh, found a threepenny bit from 1944. So that one's George VI, not in the best of condition. Well, there's a surprise. I thought that was going to be another modern penny, but it's actually another pre-decimal penny, another Irish penny. So that's another nice find. I'm pleased with that. Yeah. Well, I hit that one pretty well. Got just underneath it, lifted it out. That dropped out. And here we've got a 1948 pre-decimal penny from George VI. In pretty good condition. This one gave a decent signal and it came from down there. It was canny old depth. It was reading mid-80s. And it looks like a very, very old coin. Or maybe it's just a very, very corroded coin. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get anything off that. It's pretty much just flat. Now this one is in an area where I found quite a lot of pre-decimal coins. 
and that looks like a coin ball. It was reading 85 to 86, so I'm just hoping it isn't a modern penny or a modern halfpenny. Ah. Oh, it isn't. It's a sixpence. It's not a silver one, but it's a Elizabeth II, um, 1953. Hey, what's that? First I thought it was a buckle. Maybe it is a buckle. Seems to be capable of swivelling. There it is. Some sort of swivelling buckle, perhaps? It's in remarkable condition. It was probably about 8 inches down. It gave a banging signal. I thought it was right on the top. That's um, it's quite an interesting one, that one. I'll not mess around with it too much because I did find another nice buckle and I was fanning on like this and it ended up smashing. So I think I'll just give that one a nice clean up and put it in the display case. Well this one's just come up from about six inches down in totally waterlogged soil. It's a George V Penny. 1927 I think? 1927. I'll just give it a quick rub because it's in hellish condition on this side. I've rubbed some of the patina off, but um, it's in good condition on that side. That'll buff up nice and polish up and it'll be as good as new. Well I went over with the detector again just to check there was nothing else in that pile before filling the hole in. And there's a ship halfpenny. 1959 I think. Queen Elizabeth II. Pretty good condition. Return. 
Can it read it? Ah, it is. So that's another nice find. Ah, it is indeed. Oh no, it's not. What the hell is that? If ever you want anything dismantling, just give it to a young boy. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah.